Welcome to the commands window tutorial. If you don't have a commands window up, okay, you can either go to one of these tabs if there are up and just go commands or you can go shift and then press right square bracket and then the right side bar will appear and you can choose commands that way. Okay. So you can see these are the order of precedence, which one is more important uh, than the other. So if the master is the master in terms of MIDI, then whatever commands are for master will basically take precedence over the other ones. And you just basically see for each one of these commands where the hierarchy is. Okay, so you can play around with that. Okay, this is very typical for Macintosh. Command N is a new file, okay. So as you can see, you can see all those typical commands. You can also create your own here too, if you wish, revert to saved. You go Apple, well, that's already taken. So you go no, you can pick something that's not taken. It's kind of hard to do that. What I like to do instead is select a MIDI event, okay, to do so. Now let's pick something else. Let's go undo, redo, okay and I have my MIDI keyboard connected and I'm going to pick one of the buttons here and press it. There we go. And that's going to be my undo now if I wish. Okay. All right. Now there's so many commands here. How does one manage them? Okay. Well, if there's something that you're looking for, for example, if you're looking for looping, you just type it into the search bar on the top here. That didn't work. So what you'll do is just go loop. There we go. Next loop, you see there are commands here. And you can also again, assign, assign a MIDI event to that. Okay. If you wish to be for that to be it, you can determine which this uh, what the source is. Okay, so from which keyboard, it's only going to be from the axiom when it only comes from the axiom, right? Okay. That's basically it. You, you know, you need to just find out exactly what you need for your project and what your automation needs are, or basically what's going to make your workflow more efficient and convenient for your creativity. Okay. The key bindings, importing key binding and exporting key binding, that's basically whatever you've put into there and whatever you've changed, if you wanted to put it on another computer or if you wanted to import it from another computer, that's what that is, okay? And that's enough for you to really, really get started with this. Uh, it can go very deep and uh, it can really be custom made to whatever your needs are musically.